Did I do any time already? Baby more won't poop. How constipated baby doll sabotages the hat hat pack is kind of the air. By Celia Rivenbark. The scene on Christmas Day afternoon is straight out of a Norman Bates. Rockwell! Rockwell. Portrait. There we all were. Me, my husband, and our three-year-old lovingly surrounded by assorted grandmothers, uncles, aunts, and cousins. All staring, wrapped, the festively decorated dinner table. And there, at the center of the table, was no pineapple boring ham or golden turkey, but rather a foot-tall baby doll, balanced, but barely on a too small pink plastic pun. Why won't she go? Brother in law moaned. They didn't get a squeeze, pinch of the milk, baby for an honor pink pie. Think we're going to take it over a holiday. And it made us all a little crazy. She was made of hard plastic, has slightly maniacal blue eyes, and wasn't even fun to hold. She was one of the most in demand toys that Christmas. Leading me to realize that our wacky dining table scene was probably being repeated in hundreds of thousands of American households. Baby, baby Born came with special instructions that you should only fear the specially formulated cereal, except the packets are hated, before sitting on her magic pink potty and waiting for nature. I just don't like it to take its course. There was a warning. If Baby Morton does not go does not go on her potty, push her down and hold her there until she's finished. Do not let go. We could only imagine what horror would ensue if we let go. So, like paramedics do, doing CPR, one member of the family would hold on to Baby Born until he got tired, and then another would take over immediately. As a brother in law continued to pound away. My daughter began to cry. Uh, you're holding her! She wailed. Don't be ridiculous! The baby do clenched sheath. Baby boy, let's dribbly jump! Don't you, baby boy! Don't you! Yes, you do! Okay. So he lost his mind. With several ants taking turns, we decided to at least get Baby Born to cry real tears to see on TV. Once she couldn't even do that, I felt like crying a few of my own. Boy, darn near 50 bucks! Baby Born should perform at least two of the seven functions. Seven, my husband used. That's more than I got, I'm pretty sure. He had slapped at this, so he said it a few more times. Finally. Six hours! Behind the schedule. We sat down to a proper Christmas dinner. In my daughter's tear chain request, Baby Born sat in her own chair, which meant that the brother-in-law's place at the table meant that he had a balanced plate on a tiny holly hobby TV tray that one of the ants found resting behind the dryer. I wouldn't go if you could have. We would take a baby born into a long ride in the country that cold the summer night. She didn't pure poop. She didn't cry real tears. She didn't squeal ah! when you lifted your arm, humming vigorously according to the instructions. She didn't do crap! The instructions were very specific about not giving baby born anything but water in her useless, specially designed mouth. Yeah, Lemonade, tea, or even milk would damage the intricate workings of the doll. One day, I came home to find my daughter and her little and her little friend giving baby born orange juice. What are you doing? I shrieked. Are you know baby boards not supposed to have juice? And my girl's sticky inside. 
So what? My daughter asked. Good point. Carry on. This year, my daughter's aiming for something called the Make Me Pretty Tacky Styling Head. You tote it around by the hair and adorn his pretty face with makeup and curl his pretty hair. But by the end of the day, it still looks like what it is. A severed head. She's also aiming for something called the Fisher Price Loving Family Home and Stable. I don't really get the stable connection unless you're supposed to pretend that if the daddy comes home feeling less than loving, full the plastic family can retreat to the stable. I'm not really sure our baby born is the one, but presumably she's sitting around somewhere in a permanent squat position full of mushy cereal, OJ, and water. Which doesn't I think about it? Sounds just like my aunt Sudavi before she went to home.